And hello there, everybody. What is going on? Rocky Rock here. Welcome back to Area 33, guys. So today, well, we made a lot of progress. As you can clearly see, a lot of progress was made. We made a lot of progress during the live stream, and then we went ahead and even made some more progress off screen. So today, guys, I'm going to show you all of that progress as well as our plan to defeat the evil Tyserax and the evil Snake Doctor and all the people of the server. So today, guys, let's go over exactly what happened. Now, there's a lot of changes. First off, there's also a ton of donations. Let us begin. Uh, where did I store them? Ah, quite a few in here. We got a lot from Joel. We got some Davis Marks ones. We, uh, have some Davis Marks, Davis Marks. Uh, where was the other one? There's, oh, Silver Sun was the other guy. Uh, we had quite a few. I'm trying to find where I kept, put the lucky blocks. Oh, this is mine. Uh, during the live stream, we actually killed the Slime King. Ooh, I got some more basalt bricks. Uh, let's go ahead here. Here's the lucky blocks. Uh, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take those. We're gonna open those. So thank you guys for the donations. If you guys are willing to donate to this series, that would be absolutely lovely. It helps support uh, a nice charity that we have decided upon as the Area 30 team. So if you guys would like to help in that, you can. And it also supports in helping me fight the evil people on the server so you guys can support my cause and you know killing off everyone else because that would be wonderful so guys step one we got to make ourselves go outside and open up these lucky blocks it'd be a lot easier so let's go ahead and turn into a bat here batty mcbattington let's go ahead and get ourselves a pickaxe perfect let us go all the way upstairs and let us fly outside uh the reason i got the pickaxe so i can actually get outside uh come on break 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 there we go uh-oh. Anyway, we'll worry about that in just a second here. Let's go ahead here and let us let us open lucky blocks. Let's open them away from the village and away from this. We uh, don't want people to know where we are. So, uh, I mean, people already do know where we are, but uh, I've already a few people have found me from my understanding. Let's go ahead and open them right here. I didn't notice those reeds there. Those have been nice. During the live stream, we were looking for reeds for a while. For those of you that came out, you know that. Let's go ahead and turn back into human form. Transform. Here we go. Oh, oh, ha, see, it's different this time, Bob. Last time you were here, uh, you were the stronger one. This time, I'm the stronger one. See, Bob, there's a big difference here. Wah. See, the best part about rapiers is they totally ignore armor. At least that's what I've been told. I believe this is considered rapier. We are getting some server lag there. Don't want to let that defeat us. Let's go. Come on. Die, Bob. Actually, if I throw Bob in there, he can't really get out, can he? Oh, no, he can. Let's just let's just finish Bob off anyway. We're almost, Bob's almost dead anyway. Goodbye, Bob. Goodbye. Goodbye. I can now actually transform into Bob. Okay. Anyway, we still got a few more lucky blocks to go. Ooh, don't want to step on these. I'm pretty sure these light me on fire. Oh, no, they don't. They're just on fire themselves. Okay, let's open the next lucky block. We get Nemo. Open the next lucky block. We get... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, spaghetti -o. Uh, block it with lucky block. Did that actually work? Wow, that actually worked. I think I may have saved my life. Possibly. It depends if I can get in the water fast enough. Come on. Come on. Huh. Ah, no. Oh, there we go. Just made it. I'm funny. Oh, it's not Nemo. It says I'm funny. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's not funny that they tricked us and made us think it was Nemo. Let's go ahead here and break that one. Oh, we got a fishing rod. The lucky fishing rod. And we got one more to open. Hurrah. What? Oh, and an unlucky potion, it looks like. Yes, siree. That'll come in handy for sure against the uh, for the fight. So let's head back to the base now. Uh, transform back into a bat here. Give ourselves flight again, because uh, that's very useful. Uh, we'll transform back. Oh, holy, almost fell there. Um, go ahead and plant this cinder pearl right. Oh, I can't plant it unless it's on sand, I guess. I'll just throw it in the water for now then. Uh, let's have all these mobs ignore us for now. We're going to sneak in our little one block high hole. And let's get back downstairs. Now, I'm going to go through exactly what changes we did to the base because there is quite a bunch to go over. Uh, we also have a lot of basalt lying around. I did some different things with basalt. We have some goggles of revealing lying around in the ender chest, which uh, we'll go over in a minute how I got those. Um, where is some steak? There we go. Okay, so let us begin, guys. Let me explain exactly what is going on here. Uh, let me go in the deconstruction table. We'll deconstruct the zombie head here to start. There we go. We get some air. Um, so basically, guys, what's going on here is during the live stream, we did a lot of stuff gathering materials and whatnot, and I used those materials to build this. So uh, we actually, in during the live stream, we found a Crimson Cult attack, and I actually found another one. So you can take their banners when, they have, uh, when they're when they attacking different obsidian posts. So I went over there, and I took all their banners because they look really cool. Uh, we put them around. Uh, besides that, we also got this wonderful, wonderful fish that says, ooh. Um, 
Obviously, as you guys can see, this this base already looks really cool. We got the lava pouring down on each side. We got, you know, the basic floor. But the new addition is we got this back area here with all these bookshelves. The bookshelves actually provide infinite uh, different versions of this. So you can see I'm slowly gaining air just by having book or I'll uh, gain like an extra air for having a bookshelf there and infinite of different things depending on uh, how the bookshelves work. Now, I could be doing it wrong. I believe I'm doing it right, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, deconstruction table. If I throw something in here, it will give me one of its aspects. So as an example, I throw a stake in there. You see we get Perdicio. I got a chest here full of paper, scribing tools, and one uh, note that I haven't completed yet. And then we got our arcane crafting table there. Uh, next, we have this room which I built, which looks really cool. Uh, it has a lava floor below it, which surprisingly, you'd think the walls took the most time, but I'll tell you, nope, the hardest part was getting the lava. Actually, no, the hardest part was getting the marble. Second hardest part was putting down the lava. Um, and then we have four... Uh, rooms within here. Now these rooms are going to be different magical things. So as an example, I'm going to make this room. This room is going to be, as an example, could be dedicated to crucibles. Another room could be dedicated to the creation of um, different things. I don't know. It's going to be all Thomcraft related and it's going to be really cool. So that, oh, and then we uh, got this little mine there and uh, cave up here. Um, so we haven't haven't done too much besides that. We got the dogs down here now. Uh, the cats haven't moved, but yeah. So besides that, guys, there hasn't been too many, too much going on. We got a lot of work to get done. I should probably tell you what's going on Thomcraft wise. Show you how we're gonna defeat Tyser and them. Uh, so let's go back and do human form here, just so we have more health. And it's a lot easier. Here we go. And if you see here, I'm actually working on a note for a, a node preserver. Um, and for those that are new to this series and didn't watch last season, how I do this is I find something that links to air and I put it next as an example. Uh, so I can do something that's made of air. So if I wanted to, I could do modus, which is made of air. I could do um, bestia, which is made of air. As long as I can connect them so that they create aurum, which is the one down there. So as an example, we have Procratio. Uh, where's Potentia? Potentia has ordo in it. Ordo and air as an example. So if I do air and ordo, we can see that actually makes modus, which is the speed one. So if I can I can put modus there. Then I could decide I want to do ordo. Then I could do precatio. Oh, ordo and precatio don't make each other. Oh, then I could do potentia. And then I could do this here. And then off of that, you can see potentia connects to orum because orum has potentia in it. And you see that connects. And then if I can connect this last one to lucrum, which is greed, uh, basically what will happen is uh, we can go from there. So as an example, greed is made of humans and what I believe to be oh, something we don't. Oh, yes, we do. We, we have fames. Uh, so it will probably be easier to go down the route of uh, the humidus. So if we take humanus, put it off that, take cognito, or we could even take bestia. doesn't really matter. We actually, in fact, we could do bestia. Then we could do modus again. And then we can connect the modus up to the ordo or the precatio. It doesn't really matter. Uh, modus has air in it, so we can put an air there. And then our best bet is to actually just put ordo there. No, because, oh, and then ordo and air make modus. And we put a modus there, connects everything up, and then we finish the research note. Um, so you can see here I have it finished. I right-click it. Now I've discovered it. If we go into our Thaumonomicon, which is over here. Now, for you, those of you that actually know how this works, obviously this is old news to you. And you guys already know how the whole learning process uh, works. Here we go, Thaumonomicon. We open this, we can see that I just discovered node preserving. You now have better control over the amount of vis you draw from the nodes. You will always leave the, at least one vis of each aspect in the node unless you are sneaking. Be warned, this level of control is not possible when you're using wands crafted from normal wood and iron. Meaning, I gotta start making some more fancier uh, stuff. Uh, the master node tapping is my next goal after that. However, I did just complete it, so let's put the next one in there. I'm not gonna be able to actually do it now, but we'll put it in there just so I can keep track. Um, so this one won't be too difficult, but the goal is to complete the entire book. Uh, not to complete the entire book. I'm not worried about that. Most of this I'll do on streams and off camera because uh, I don't want to do it because the last season I spent the time working on all this stuff. Most of it I'm going to do off camera and whatnot, getting all this stuff done. Uh, basic alchemy that involves crucibles and whatnot. Artifice. Uh, this is how we create the stuff like we can do enchanted fabrics and make magic stuff the go So here's the funny thing the goggles of revealing I haven't discovered so that's that's the other story I had to get into so these goggles of revealing I'm not using them yet because I haven't researched them But what's cool about the goggles of revealing now I can put them on I'll put them on for you guys so You can see what they look like <clears throat> What these actually do is give me a vistas count of five and along with that not only do they do that They uh, allow me to see nodes better now. I'm not keeping them on yet until I do the research 
but I actually found those when I was getting the marble. And for those that don't know, in Thomcraft uh, 4. Point whatever we're on right now, you can actually obtain uh, in a Thomcraftian dungeon or the dungeons that have Thomcraft items in them, you can actually find these goggles of revealing, which I found, and I was lucky because I remembered those from last time, how they were a crazy essential. The reason I'm not using them yet is because until I have the research, I can't repair them, so I don't want to lose them yet. Now, the research shouldn't be too difficult because I actually have... The, uh, I could actually get the uh, the note for it now, but uh, we'll worry about that at a later date. Uh, however, there are some stuff I want to do. Arcade doors, I remember. Um, I'm not going to work too much with golems this time around, I don't think. Um, I also have a hungry chest. I don't know what that does, but I kind of want to make it. Uh, I don't really work in, in this much stuff too often. Thematic tinkering is kind of fun. Uh, there's different things in there, so it's 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 a lot of different things not gonna fiddle with it too much But it is there then we have a uh, thematic Estorica. I don't fiddle with this one as well too often and then we have this one Which I don't even know what it does. I just clicked that what did I just learn that by clicking it? I just learned it by clicking it. That was it. That's all I had to do four shards makes a ring Oh I just clicked it and I learned it. That's. Do we got something going on here? Can I just click things and I learn them? No? Okay then. I guess not. I got really excited there, but obviously it was just the one time thing. Anyway, guys, so that's the updates of the base. Uh, for those who. Uh, for updates on where Tyser and all them are, I still have no idea. I was told that Snake Doctor lives in a volcano. Uh, like myself. I was told Jimmy is betraying Snake or something, working with Arid. I don't know. Nonetheless, um. I don't know my plans of action yet. I'm going to attempt to... Oh, actually, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you guys. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am... Oh, my God. I just said something that was wrong. During the live stream, we found somebody named Tyser. One second. This is what I mean, guys. I forgot to tell you guys during the live stream. Now, I completely forgot about this. Look what we found during the live stream, thanks to some nice people. We actually went ahead and found Tyser's base. Now, he doesn't even realize that we found it. But it's right behind these two dirt blocks. We just replace these dirt. He didn't even realize we found it yet. He has some cords there. I'm not sure if they're important. A lot of people told me not to worry about them. But he has quarries here and whatnot. Oh, I almost fell in. Quarries here and whatnot. So it's just something to look forward to. And he does have all this stuff. Two mini guns. A lot of redstone. But besides that, he doesn't have too much. Um, We're going to go ahead here, though on a whim and say he's hiding some stuff because look at this there's no way he got nothing out of two gigantic holes unless he's keeping most of it in here which he is oh how lovely let's go ahead what do you got for me what do you got for me let's see here uh any iron any iron am i gonna be taking some iron today you better believe it if he has any which he doesn't he has some in there but i'm not gonna take that how unfortunate okay nonetheless oh, wait 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 Nope, nothing. And wait, 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 wait. Ten iron. Boo, yeah, that's mine now. Uh, not for the reason you think. Actually, does he have anything with air in it? That would be good, too. Air? Air? Nope. I don't think he's going to have anything with air. Mostly terra. I, yeah, mostly terra stuff. Ooh. Ooh, aluminum. Thank you. I'll take one of these just for some testing purposes. But yeah, you can see he's done, he's been pretty busy. Now, um, I was here during the live stream. I'm going to show you guys around, though, some stuff I did find here now nothing too fancy guys don't don't get your hopes up it was nothing crazy fancy let's head down here and i'll show you so down here we actually found a spawner which i broke and took because i can repair it and turn it back into a spawner and we can uh turn, make a farm of it besides that not too much was found however he did nicely get me some wonderful places to mine some iron Making my life so easy. And we're actually here. We can get to... Well, we can't mine gold with what we have. But if he has any primal essence in the area, I'll be able to get that as well. Though it doesn't look like he does. It's unfortunate he hasn't hit any. However, he does have caves here that may have some. And I believe I actually mined some uh, during the live stream. So that could be where that is. 
But uh, just an idea, he does have caves here, and he doesn't realize that we know where his base is. So, on a more bright note, we can actually do stuff at his base and raid his base and blow him up and kill him. We just need to find out if he's actually living here, if he has another base where he's keeping stuff. Because there's one thing I noticed about this base, there's not many items here. So I don't know if he actually lives here still, if it was a previous base and he left stuff here, or if he just comes here occasionally, or he stashes his items elsewhere. We're going to figure all that out. We're going to figure all that out. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, that is it, guys, for this episode. Check it out. Ticer's base. Trying not to leave a clue that I'm here, but he probably will find out, but that's fine. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay beautiful, and peace out.